This is a power and flow test for the one and a half horsepower Black & Decker variable speed pool pump. We will be testing at 900 RPM, 1250 RPM, and 2700. The system is set up for a one and a half inch suction and return line, 150 square foot cartridge filter, and the total dynamic head is approximately equal to 35 feet. Let's go ahead and get started here. As you can see, we've already got 900 RPM going with the pump. Let's take a look at our flow rate. Just over 20 gallons per minute. 55 and a half watts power consumption, less than a 60 watt light bulb. 0.36 amps current draw. Alright, let's increase the RPM a bit here. 1,250. Just about 28 gallons per minute. 109.3 watts power consumption, 0.54 amps of current draw. Now we're going to dial up to 2,700 RPM. Let's go ahead and take a look at the pressure on the filter. That's over eight, under nine. I'm gonna call it eight and a half PSI on the filter. Sixty two point nine, just under sixty three gallons per minute. Seven hundred and eighty five watts power consumption, three point three three amps current draw. We're going to be programming a Black & Decker variable speed pool pump for a 24-hour schedule that has 14 hours at 900 RPM, 6 hours at 1250 RPM, and 4 hours at 2700 RPM. Now we have four speed selection slots to work with, so instead of running 14 hours at 900 RPM all at once, I'm going to split it up into two 7-hour segments at 900 RPM. Let's go ahead and get started with one of those right now. So we, pr we press speed one with the pump currently stopped. And now you see speed starting to flash here. So that means we can make our selection and we're going to dial this down to 900 RPM. There we go, press speed one again. And now it's going to ask the time of day that I want this 24 hour schedule to start. I'm just going to choose 5 a.m. There we go. Press speed one again, and now duration starts flashing, and it's asking me for how many hours do I want this schedule to run? And I want seven hours. There we go. Press speed one again. That's it. We've now programmed speed one. Moving along to speed two, this is going to be 1,250 RPM. There we go. Press speed two again. And now we're looking at duration. In six hours, that's perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. So I'm going to press speed two again. And that's it. We've programmed that as well. Moving along to speed three. This is going to be the other seven hours at 900 RPM. There we go, 900, press speed again. And now duration is flashing. And as I mentioned, we're going to go with the other seven hours of time. There we go, press speed three again, and that's programmed in. Moving along to speed four, this is going to be 2700 RPM. There we go. And we're going to want to run that for four hours. You'll notice when we get to four, it stops. We can't go anymore. That's because this is based on a 24 hour schedule and we've reached the maximum here. So all we have to do is press speed four again 
And that's it. We've programmed our 24 hour schedule. All we need to do now is press the start button and it will begin running the program that we've just scheduled. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.